Hey everybody, welcome back to Rick's Tech Talk. Today we're gonna to go over some containers that I got for some filament uh, for 3D printing. So I'll tell you what I think of them. So keep watching. So just recently I got into 3D printing. So this is kind of new to me. And I bought a, a Bamboo X1 Carbon. Uh, I don't plan on doing a review on this because there's so many reviews on it. Um, but I, I'm learning more about filament and you know keeping it dry and things like that. So in my situation, my filament is down here in the basement and it's not like super damp, but I do have a dehumidifier running pretty much all the time. So we try to keep the level about 45% humidity, um, if not maybe a little bit lower. Without that dehumidifier, it does get very damp down here. And from what I understand is if you let your filament absorb moisture, it's not gonna print well. So I see a lot of people just put it up on the wall and they might put it in a dry box or something before they use it. Um, I plan on using the bamboo to the max. You know, I have four colors in here and I plan on switching them out, um, you know, pretty often. So I, I don't wanna dry my filament before I use it. Um, some stuff needs to be very dry, like ABS, I guess, uh, absorbs a lot of moisture. I could be wrong on that. Again, I am very new to this. Uh, but I came across some containers. Now, I see a lot of people just get big tubs, and they put the foam in the tubs, you know, and they put some of these packets in there with it to help it absorb moisture. Uh, but I seen this, and these are... But I've seen this, and these are airtight containers, okay? Uh, so basically it sucks the air out of them and you, you, know, you put your little packets in there, absorb some moisture that's in there, and keeps it nice and dry. So what I did is I purchased a set of five, okay? And it comes with this little pump. And this, this guy's actually pretty nice because originally this pump was uh, like a handheld, you know, mechanical one. Um, you know, that you'd have to use yourself, you know, it wasn't electrical. So this uh, has a battery in there and it has a, some pretty good suction here, I'll show you. I mean, that, that's pretty good. So, uh, so it comes with a pump and you get these containers and on this, on this container, this is, these are not the clips, I'll talk about that in a minute, but these are not the clips that come with the containers. And now if I was to, release the pressure, I just push down on this little rubber piece here. Oh, okay, there's no pressure in there right now. Okay, so I just open this up. Oh, maybe there is pressure there. There was, I just wasn't pushing down hard enough. Okay, and then the lid will come off. So it's got a nice, looks like silicone seal, which this does pop out, which is really nice. So if the seal goes bad, you can get you you know get a replacement for it. I imagine um, the plastic is it's very hard. It's it, it's not very flexible. So I don't know what kind of plastic it is, but the bottom kind of you know bows in a little bit. So there's a little play at the bottom. So when you're taking the the air out, you can actually see the bottom. You know. Um, get sucked in. So these containers, I, I really like them. Um, I did purchase these with my own money. Okay, so that's the thing. Um, I liked them so much that I reached out to the company and I said, hey, uh, you know, I'd really like to do a review on these uh, containers. You know, would you like to, you know, help me out? I already opened them up, got them, you know, assembled or whatever, and they're sitting up on the shelf. So they did send me five more containers, okay, for, for the unboxing. And the reason I wanted to do that is because getting them out of the box was kind of a pain in the butt, but they do give you the info on their website on how to do it. And I'll show you here in a second. But these containers are really nice. Um, I imagine if you drop these on a concrete floor, this plastic is so hard, it might actually shatter them. Uh, it's hard to say, I'm not gonna try it. So maybe someone can let me know if they've actually broken any of them. Uh, but the procedure is you just latch them up. You take your pump, 
and you put it right here in the middle. You don't even have to push down, just push the button and let it run. And when it stops, it means it's, it's good to go. It, it took all the air out, so we'll see how long it runs for here. And I can already see it kind of, you know, getting sucked in. It's like kind of collapsing on itself there. So there's a lot of suction um, to that. You can tell by the noise. There it goes. That it's almost done. And that's it. So that is vacuum sealed, basically. Um, that will keep your filament nice and dry for a long time. So if you're like me and you have a moist area, a very damp area, you know, these will come in handy. Uh, you know, they kind of builds up in price, so maybe you might just want them for certain types of filament. Maybe the filaments that you don't plan on using very often, like uh, the ABS, I don't plan on using that very often because of the smell and the vapors it gives off, so I won't use that too much. But let's get into the unboxing. Uh, I'm going to make the unboxing quick because a lot of people don't care about the unboxing. Kind of doing this backwards, right? All right, so here's our box. And I will talk about those clips that, that I mentioned before. So here's our lids. Here's the clips that it comes with. And let's take all these out. Now I have had these out already. So I had to put them back in the box because I screwed up the first video. So forgive me on that, but I'm gonna go through it like these are brand new anyways. Okay. Now when you get these, they don't wanna separate very easily. Okay, and there's a trick. You, you basically just take one of the lids and you put it on. It doesn't matter like where, just put it on. You're not gonna put the clips on. And then you're gonna put your pump on. And that will actually start sucking the air out of that empty container and it will kind of shrink it a little bit. And when it does that, it'll help release it from the other ones. So I don't know how they pack these things, but they pack them really tight. And so when this is done, I should just be able to lift them up. Obviously they are gonna lift easier because I've already had them out. You know, I, I wanna be honest about that. I don't even think you have to go this long, but okay. So now they will just lift up. They won't lift that easy, but they will come up a lot easier by doing this. So if you buy these and you can't get them out, that's what you gotta do. And then I can just hit my release. I actually got part of the paper stuck in there. All right, now that I showed you <laughs> how to release them, we'll talk about the clips. Again, that's what I really, that's why I wanted more containers sent to me because I kind of wanted to show that and I screwed up the first video. All right, now the clips. These clips already came attached. Um, maybe some don't, okay. Maybe some come like this. They're already broken apart. Um, I don't think it really matters, but you just clip them on like that and they just pop out, okay? And then you just take the round part, shove it up through the bottom, easy peasy. I don't know which way is which, but and they go on like that. Now, myself and others have mentioned that when they pop these off, that they were just kind of like falling off like this. And then when you wanted to close them back up, you had to get that piece back in there and latch it. Um, these ones that I've received on the second batch are much better. They're actually holding together. Um, a little wiggle, they just pop out. So on the internet, 
someone designed uh, or copied the design from those and I 3D printed these guys and you can see they do not come apart right here this is ABS okay so it's very hard plastic the only thing I did was thickened up the top piece here a little bit it was the the width of the sides here but I made it a little bit thicker right here on the top just for a little more strength and you do the same thing just kind of pop them up underneath and I kind of like my clips um, if you have a lot of ABS you could actually print these in the colors maybe for the filament if you wanted to um, that would be kind of cool you'd have to have a lot of containers and a lot of different colored filament I suppose um, but some people are kind of picky like that and I do like my stuff to match so you won't find me having these containers alongside some other containers I just it's just the way I am they all have to match my power tools they all have to match for the most part that's it I mean so those are really nice clips I like my clips so I 3d printed a shit ton of clips now if you're new like me and you have no idea how to print ABS I will give you one trick that I've learned with my bamboo printer is you print one at a time now I can fit a whole bunch on my plate and the printer can go through and print a whole bunch layer by layer and kind of build them up but what happens is the ABS I found just kind of starts shrinking and curling lifting off the plate but if the printer is constantly printing to that clip it stays flat don't know why uh, so what I've learned is print by piece so I can get four on my plate I'll print one and it does a second one third one fourth one so I can print four at a time so when it's done I got four clips and they come out perfect if it does it by layer yeah sometimes they get a little warped not the greatest so we will take some pretty yellow filament from what was this Sun Sunlu I think it's called um, I'm pretty sure that's who makes this one okay I'll put it in there I like to stick about three of these little bags in there so if there's like a certain amount that you should be putting in with your filament please let me know because again I'm new to this just put those in there close it up the other thing I like about them is that they're very smooth on the bottom and the little center piece doesn't seem to be scratching it seems to be in far enough um, because when I slide stuff around on my desk I don't want it to be scratching the wood so I kind of like that so there's no no scratching from the center there and then let's see if it actually uh, sucks the air out a little bit quicker with the filament inside of it Yeah, about the same it seems like but they're good to go um, nothing else to do besides put them up on my shelf so I can get let's see five ten nine I can get nine up on my shelf up over here um, so I can see them I don't know where, where I'm gonna put them I have no idea I might actually build something underneath my desk um, find a place to stack them I, I they are stackable uh, I probably won't stack them just because it takes longer to grab the color that you want but you could I mean, you can stack them they stack really nice um, I just wish they had better clips not not saying there's anything really terribly wrong with these clips I just wish that right here it was closed and they had you know they printed them like my red ones here where it's just one print and they're all connected that would see I just turned that and it just kind of popped off 
they're light, they're strong, they will work. But me, just getting into 3D printing, um, it gave me an excuse to print something. You know, I was just like, oh cool, I'm make my own clips. Um, so I'm very happy with my clips. I've printed some other stuff. Um, nothing that I have laying around, I don't think right now. But, you know, I did this little dinosaur guy, you know. So again, I'm just kind of getting into 3D printing. I did design this little box on Blender. And just kind of has a little latch here and a little groove on the inside to put my cover on, which then stays shut. So as far as I know, as long as the filament's dry, doesn't have any moisture in it, you're gonna have nice prints. And since I've gotten this 3D printer, I've kept everything in bags. Um, you know, I've had my desiccant inside and I haven't had any problems. I think if the filament was just to stay out in the open down here, it would just suck up a lot of moisture. And would, I don't know, maybe I'll try it. Um, but I hate to ruin some filament like that, but I guess you can put it in a dry box and you can dry it up. Whatever it is, I don't know, because again, I'm still kind of new to this. Um, but again, these containers are very nice. And this is my first product review on anything that's uh, 3D printed related. So hopefully I will be able to do some more stuff because this bamboo printer is just amazing. I love it so far. So if you have any questions, let me know. I tried to get a discount code for us to put down you know, in the description uh, to give you guys a discount if you decide to buy any of these, um, but they don't have anything. If you do see a discount code, put it in the, the comments and if I see it, I will pin that to the top. So when other people see this video, they can try that discount code. You know, we'll do it like that. So if you have any questions about this or have any tips or tricks, put it down in the comments for me. I'd appreciate it. And hopefully you give it a thumbs up and you know subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. See ya.